Hey guys, it's me, your best friend, Above Gets Buzz Latte. Welcome back to Coffee Talk. This is part three of this Let's Play series. I am continuing this series. I ended up buying the full game after the demo. I was enjoying it so much. And I'm very excited to record a calming video today because I've had a cold all week. I need to serve up some pumpkin spice lattes and I can't really scream. So that's the best for everyone. Freya's here. She's just wondering who's going to come in my cafe tonight. I'm the uh, pumpkin spice latte heir. Wonder what stories they'll have. Who could that be? Oh, who? Who can I send down in my... Good, good evening, y'all. Georgie! Hi, George. Oh, I changed my name back to Poo Poo Pee Pee just for y'all, by the way. Poo Poo Pee Pee. Good, good evening, Officer Georgie. Hey, Pop. Okay, so we're, we're all, we all know each other. We're all friends here. Seems like you're in high spirits this evening, Miss Freya. I can't wait to fix Officer Georgie a pumpkin spice latte. And please, Poo Poo Pee Pee, no need to be that formal with me. I am so sorry. We're both on duty here. See, we can, we have a couple chuckles, hence the formalities. Also, smoking's illegal, and you are smoking in my coffee shop. So, um, oh, you were just as stiff as ever. I'm trying to loosen up. I think we could all use a round of pumpkin spice latte. Anyway, I have a shift tonight, so I'll need the usual. Do I have all the ingredients today? Well, we do have our pumpkin, our selection of pumpkin spices. Not everything. We have more than yesterday. Um, and we could buy more ingredients, maybe if you actually, anyone paid for their drinks. You still remember my favorite, right? Oh, honey, I know everyone's favorite is a pumpkin spice latte. Coffee with a hint of sweetness. Make sure not to use milk. Okay, so we're going to make a uh, lactose-free. Thanks to your Tomodacho profile, everyone knows you're lactose intolerant, Georgie. Oh, Georgie. Also, smoking in my cafe still. Anyway, a cup of sweet, healthy coffee, please. Okay, okay. I know you see, I know you said no milk. But this is almond milk, ogre. Okay? And I've got some... <gasps> Are these actually, this is ginger. This is ginger. Okay, Josephine, don't get too excited about this. Ginger is actually one of the ingredients in pumpkin spice in the blend known as pumpkin spice. So I will be adding some ginger and then some almond milk to make this a pump and lactose intolerant, uh, lactose free pumpkin spice latte. Okay, we're gonna serve it. Wait, do I not? That literally looks like a pumpkin spice latte. I'm shook, honey, she's shook. Do I not get to do any, um, fancy stuff on the uh oh a specialty cup for the man on duty it might have milk in it my dairy sense is tingling this thing's got milk in it oh freya shook honey you would think freya know by now she's in here every day oh listen i'm sorry pardon me let you get let me get you a new drink forget it i'll manage tonight okay so I'm not helping anybody in this city, to be honest. By the way, I haven't ordered anything myself. You better not mess this one. Well, how do you mess up a pumpkin spice latte? What are you having? You still, I just, it's just formalities. I know you need a pumpkin spice latte. See, I hear espresso, but I know from experience, pump, pumpkin spice latte is the way to go. So I'm going to make this one a little bit differently. We've been trying out a few different ways of making pumpkin spice latte. Now that I have the ginger, we are going to put some ginger in there, and I'm going to put some honey in it, too. When do I get to, do I get to make fancy stuff on the top? I miss drawing stuff. I want to draw, <laughs> I need to write a sign on Freya's, uh, like, a legal agreement now that she is uh, taking story. Remember, she's writing down stories from the people in my bar, my cafe. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I got it wrong, didn't I? Well, at least it's still coffee. That's true. I served someone just warm milk the other day. So we're all lucky we have a little bit of coffee. So have us everything going at the paper, Miss Freya. As usual, awful. Oh, Freya. She's still writing that novelle. She's making a risky deal with her boss. Okay, love a little recap. Pretty much, what kind of a deal? I like Georgie. Georgie likes the gossip. I like the gossip. A possibly life-altering deal. A very dangerous one at that. Okay. Oh my god. Georgie, a deal she regretted? Not that much. Oh my god. I love talking it up. I love the suspense. Folks, seriously, care to share the details properly? You tell them. Okay, Poo Poo Pee Pee. Poo Poo Pee Pee knows everyone's secrets. She's secretly using her work hours to do something else. Something like sell drugs. You should arrest her. Just kidding. She's writing her own novel. You should still, I mean, we should call her boss. 
you got balls, I can tell you that. What is it with balls? Can we overhaul masculinity here real quick? She does. Gee, thank you. Oh, yeah, this is, I'd say this is a weird conversation. How's the leap of faith going so far? It's not slowing down, that's for sure. And I haven't seen any safe haystacks to fall into. Is that something? Is that like needle in a haystack? You can hurt yourself. Good luck with that. Don't worry, she's not losing her job, at least not yet. Her life will be pretty hard <laughs> if she... Oh, spilling the tea, honey. Spilling the tea. Thank you for the reminder. You might want to be saving uh, your money for uh, not pumpkin spice lattes because you're going to need it after you get fired. So yeah, as Poo Poo Pee Pee said, as Poo Poo Pee Pee always says, my editor-in-chief doesn't know about it yet, but my novel's going to be published. She still thinks this novel's going to be published. Look at her sitting here with her phone out and her journal literally not open. I'm s technically still doing work for the company. She'll be really pissed off if she finds out though. Wait. Is stealing time a crime? Oh, honey, it should be. And you're both ar under arrest, honey, because this, taking up my time I could be spending uh, making more pumpkin spice lattes. You do it all the time, too. These are just coffee breaks. All oh, right. I think I need to maybe call both of your bosses. Sometimes they just take longer than they're meant to. But still, coffee breaks. Oh, they're both chuckling or having seizures. I told uh, yesterday we used up our last EpiPen, so... <laughs> Poo poo pee pee, we are definitely, we're saying you should feel, you should feel bad. Stop adding salt to the wound, ochre. It's just a fact. Ha 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 ha. I'm not sure whether this will make you feel better or not, but if your writing career goes up in flames, the police force is always looking for people with balls as big as yours. Again with the balls. Just don't mention that you like to do other things during working hours. Georgie, I think Georgie's having a seizure as well. I want to say thanks. But I feel like I should be offended. Yeah, sure you'll do fine, Miss Freya. Do you have any ideas what you're going to write about? Probably this conversation. I would, I would actually have her sign a legal agreement before entering into any conversation with her. A coffee shop and the stories people tell inside. Uh-oh, you're letting her do that? Honey, I've been waiting for the police to get here since night one. So if you could just get the handcuffs. Please don't write about any shady looking police officers who love to take breaks more than they should inside the coffee shop near their post. Okay. Well, Freya's cackling. She's, oh, she's having a hoot and a holler. Too, too much pumpkin spice lattes, maybe? I'll try to dial back the caffeine on the next one. I will definitely write about that police officer. He'd make a good comedic character. You might also want to mention, oh my god, he's got a flip phone. Was that a compliment or are you making fun of me, A? Eh? I would call that a compliment. Is it? I don't, poo poo pee pee, I don't think so. Poo poo pee pee knows a compliment and poo poo pee pee says no. What have you against me tonight? Yeah, exactly. You're, I'm worried about losing customers due to breach of privacy. Okay, that's exactly it. Now, night four, I'm bringing in my lawyers, honey. Tonight, I brought in the police. Come on, it's not like I'll be using real names and I'll dramatize most of the things I've heard, of course. Yeah, that is even worse. That is, that's kind of bad. The stories I've heard, they'll only be the inspiration for what I write. By the way, as someone stationed here, I assume you've heard a lot of stories from people. Oh my God, Freya is trying to dig up the gossip now? No, oh my goodness, Georgie is saying no, come on. Oh. He's smoking a lot in my body. You're gonna set off the smoke alarm, and that's gonna water down the pumpkin spice lattes. Oh, he's getting nervous. He's smoking a lot in my bar. So I'm gonna need to call both of your bosses. You helped me once with the stories I wrote for the paper. Oh my goodness. The one about the secretly rich beggar hanging around the block. I'm sure you can give me another in- Give me other interesting tips. Oh my God, the tea is being spilled all over my counter, honey. And I don't have enough Windex and bounty paper towels to wop it up, honey. I helped you more than once, actually. What, really? Now it's my turn to say, come on. Oh, that hurt my throat. I'm have to edit out a cough there. I forgot I can't do much with my voice today. Which stories? I'm suspicion, says Freya. You asked for information about the busker, the one who's always playing his guitar, always got a rose with him. Oh yeah, oh, that, oh, I know her, poor guy. What was the deal? Hearing about your girlfriend passing during an investigation is, what, what did Freya do? Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to send some pumpkin spice lattes with you now. I'm gonna need you to drop them off around the neighborhood because honestly, it sounds like you're, you are making everyone upset. It was hard, but at least you gave him some closure. He never complained that you used his story for the paper. I got his blessing 
before giving it to the editors. Well, that's good. That's good. Permission. Well, at least he's become more popular since the article was published. More income for someone in his line of work. Yeah, okay. The rose is some kind of prop. Oh my god, we love a good branding. Here we brand ourselves as pumpkin spice lattes. I don't know if you noticed. Uh, back to the topic. Any hot tips? Have you heard about this one girl? <gasps> Oh my god, tell me more. Lately, this girl's been coming to a coffee shop in the area more than before. She's pretty weird. I don't know what her deal is, but she has bright green hair. Oh, honey, on the read. Honey, she just got red. Did it just get shady in my coffee shop, honey? Come on, I was excited to hear about something real. You think you're not real? Wow, that went deep real fast. Poo poo pee pee. Listen, I'm running a coffee shop. I'm not here. You know, this then is, you're gonna have to pay me for the therapy sessions faster than my career going downhill. Hey, what's with that? Poo poo pee pee, what's with that sudden mood? Ugh. Sorry, I'm having mood swings because of the pressure. Okay, understandable. I get that way. You'll do just fine. I mean, you're just great with your short stories. By the way, why this coffee shop? I spend all, yeah, Freya's here literally every evening. We ran out of EpiPens, actually, because of her. There's a couple that visited yesterday. Oh, my God. You're already telling. What about them? They're going through a pretty hard time together. You know, different races, different cultures, families don't approve. When I heard their story, I kind of felt their pain. What's happening to them happens to a lot of people. It's been told in fictional form countless times before, but it's always an interesting topic to discuss. Are they regulars here? Uh, poop poop baby, I don't think I've seen them before. Oh, the girl visited before, if I'm not mistaken, pumpkin spice lattes. She was with her co-workers and clients. They were having a pumpkin spice latte taste testing. Um, oh, helping her friends sober up, I guess. You gave people coffee to sober up? Of course not. Some folks request coffee, but I recommend against it because we also, we pumpkin spice lattes. I usually end up giving them tea, uh, hot chocolate, or just plain water sprinkled with a few pumpkin spices. I'm not drunk and you still gave me the wrong order. <laughs> oh God, does it actually change the game if you give them the wrong order? Hmm, good for you. Anyway, look at the time. It's time for my shift. Oh yeah, go and do your job, old man. Don't forget to share anything interesting you hear with me. Let's not make this a habit. Can't promise you that. Oh, Freya. She's gonna get some stories. Take care, Officer Georgie. Next time, no smoking. I think I need to get back to my writing. Okay, yeah, you never started it, so it's hard to get back to something that you never started. Good luck with the writing. Poo poo pee pee, don't forget, keep yourself hydrated. Here, take this glass of water. I've sprinkled some ginger and some other pumpkin spice, some cinnamon, there's some nutmeg in there, there's some cloves. It's, you know, pumpkin spice infused water. It's our latest, um, off to the world of imagination I go. She's just so imaginative that she just has to, like, you know, steal everyone else's lives and make them in her own book. Such an imagination. It's some, oh, hmm, that should do. The experiment? What am I experimenting with? Oh, someone is coming. Who is she? Who are they? Where am I? Oh my God, who are they? Oh, welcome, Mr. Gala, Mr. Mr. Gala or Gala. Oh, honey, those broad shoulders, honey. Hi, oh, he knows my name. Just, you know, casually poo poo pee pee. Can we sit here? Honey, you can sit wherever you want. Oh, who, who is this? Hmm, this is the place you recommended you don't like it. Listen, we get shaded a lot here. I'm I'm basically used to it. It's not like the coffee shops you're used the coffee shops you're used to in LA, but Gala, it's fine. Okay, well fine means they hate it, first of all. Sorry to interrupt you shading my bar, my cafe, but do you would you like to order anything at all? Uh what do you want to drink? You first. Ochre? Anything with co- Oh. My. God. Was this love at first pumpkin spice latte? Coffee. Ginger. Milk. Honey. A pumpkin spice latte. This one's on the house. Actually, it's not. You have to pay for it. Nobody else pays for their drinks and we're going bankrupt. Wait, why do I want to make a- I want to do some art in it. Okay, well, I'll serve this one, but I'm disappointed. I'm not getting to do latte art in this. Your order is ready, sir. Okay. Thank you. Oh my god, did I not get the order wrong? How about you, sir? Okay, what would you like to order? Is it good? I like it. Not sure if it'll be to your liking or not. Okay, 
I'll have whatever he's having. Okay, okay. Two pumpkin spice lattes for my two best customers in the entire world suddenly. Going to brew that up real quick. Maybe the ginger makes it so that I can't do latte art in it. I don't know what a latte is, y'all. I'm basic. I get... I get whatever with sugar in it as Starbucks. Okay, here's your order. Um, good choice. Okay, so we're off to a great start here. Anyway, how's the town treating you so far? Same old. I was surprised seeing so many changes after just a few years though. Yeah, things changed a lot in just 20 years. Even this coffee shop. I believe this was a bar back then. When did you open this coffee shop? It was around six years ago. That's when I inherited the pumpkin spice latte fortune. Oh, Hyde. Okay, well, it's nice to meet you, Hyde. Um, is this a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde situation from what I gather? You are, you're from LA. I heard you, you dissing us talking about LA. I used to live here decades ago though. Well, what brings you back to Seattle? What? Uh-oh, I'm here for work. I'll probably be here for a few weeks. He travels a lot, I see. Okay, I'm suspicion. You two have known each other a long time, I assume. You could say that. Okay, I'm V suspicion. I think we met not so long after you got married, right? Okay, but are you, are, is Mr. Gala single? That was in the 60s. Wow, that was a long, yeah, what? I'm gonna need y'all to start writing down your skincare routines, not for our kind. Wait a second. If I'm not mistaken, the peace treaty between werewolves and vampires was signed in 1865? So when you guys met in the 60s, <gasps> were you talking about the 1860s? Honey, skincare routine. Write it down for me right now on a napkin or you can text it to me actually. Oh, they're cackling at me. I, listen, I'm out of EpiPens, like I said, if we're, if we're going through that again. We met in the 1960s. We're old by some racist standards. Not that old, honey. Okay, well, you both still looking pretty fresh. It's uh, still fair to say we haven't seen each other in a long time. So I have a sneaking suspicion we're about to get some good old drama out of both of these characters. And you know what? We're going to continue talking to them, make some more pumpkin spice lattes in the next episode. Thank you, guys so much for watching. Hope y'all are still enjoying Coffee Talk. If you are, feel free to give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.